So in that digital office hour, we want to derive the probability distribution of an E to SDE that represents a geometric Brownian motion. So basically, we have again three objectives. First, we want to state a geometric Brownian motion as an E to stochastic differential equation. Then we want to rewrite that as a Stratonovich SDE. And last not least, we want to derive a solution to that Stratonovich STE using some ODE trick and here we'll, we will use the Leibniz rule, separation of variables. So let's just start. So a geometric Brownian motion. It would be that dxt equals alpha xt dt plus sigma xt dwt. Okay, so that's the E2 representation, meaning what we do first, or this would be the second, we rewrite in the, into a Stratonovich representation. Okay, how to do that? It is dxt equals alpha xt minus, now is the adjustment half the volatility is sigma xt times and now the first derivative of sigma xt with regard to xt dt so that thing is just sigma plus sigma xt dwt yeah, that highlights it's in Stratonovich integration okay so therefore we have that dxt equals alpha minus half sigma square xt dt plus sigma xt dwt okay so now the goal is get a solution yeah we want to get the solution find xt conditional on f0 information so what's the distribution of xt okay what we do is Leibniz rule, separation of variables, because we can use ODE tricks in that Stratonovich representation. Therefore, we divide everything by xt, and we have on the left hand side dxt divided by xt equals alpha minus half sigma square dt plus sigma dwt. Okay. Next thing we do is we integrate both sides. And what's the integral of 1 over xt dxt? That is just the log of xt. And here we start in 0, so we have minus the log of x0. Okay. So here we integrate from 0 to t. I would therefore, to be more accurate, change that into s. Okay, so uh, these are all constants with regard to time, so that integral is just that. And that integral, sigma is constant, yeah? we put that out of the integral, so it's sigma. And now we just have the integral of that thing here. Okay, but we already know what that looks like, that is nothing else than wt minus w0 and by definition the Brownian motion starts in 0. Mm. So that entire part here is then just sigma wt. Okay. So what we now do is we, we write everything in terms of ln xt. So it is ln x0 plus Okay. Now we take everything to the exponential. We therefore have xt equals e to the log x0, it's just x0, times an exponential which has alpha up here. 
So we can therefore say that xt conditional on f0 has that type of distribution. So we can either say that thing is log normal or what I would say, I would say that the log go, go from up here the log of xt conditional on f0 that is just normal, yeah? so log returns would be normal if I want to talk in terms of log returns I would put that part to the left which is there and then I know that the log return is just normal sigma square times t okay